One thing I always find fascinating with retro gaming are new releases for old consoles. It's such a cool concept and it really breathes life into these old platforms. Whether you're talking about games that are built from the ground up, that are released on new platforms, or games that never saw a official release in North America, it seems like there's always new games coming out for these systems. And Pico Interactive is one of the companies that does things like this. They basically take games that never released in North America or maybe were not even completed and finish the games up and then release them on a variety of platforms. We've covered some Pico Interactive products on the channel before, some games for the Super Nintendo and the NES, and of course the Genesis. And they recently sent me a new care package of some of their upcoming titles that were just recently released for both the Sega Genesis and the Super Nintendo. And these are really cool, we're gonna take a look at them in a future video, but one release that really stuck out to me was a N64 game. That's right folks, there is a new N64 game that never released in North America, was never released anywhere in 2019. And they sent me a copy of this game and I thought to myself, this this one needs a dedicated video. We really need to take a look at this game. The game is called 40 Winks. Now, 40 Winks came out actually on the original PlayStation and was being worked on for the N64. It was near completion, but it was canceled right at the very end. Well, Pico Interactive got the license for this game, finished the game, and then released it on an actual N64 cartridge and in a new box. So I want to take a look at this game. I want to unbox it and then show you guys some gameplay to see if it's a game that is worth adding to your N64 collection. So sit back, relax, make sure you subscribe to the channel, and let's check out 40 Winks, a new N64 game in 2019. Hey, RGT85, hey Sean. Oh my God, it's Stevie Richards. All right, so here is the box for 40 Winks. Now, like I said, this never released on the N64. So technically this is a new N64 game in 2019, which is just absolutely crazy. You could tell by the box that they did try to replicate the standard N64 boxes that were available at the time. Uh, looking at the box, it looks pretty decent. Um, I do think this main picture does look a tad bit low resolution, which is kind of strange because when looking at the back of the box, it actually looks pretty clear, but I did kind of want to mention that. You can see that this game does support two-player co-op which was actually exclusive to the n64 version of the game which kind of makes it unique because like i said the playstation version did not have that looking at the side of the box you can see 40 winks and then the back of the box now on the back of the box you can see some screenshots for the game transform into different characters attack as a ninja fight as a ferocious monster, fly into action as a superhero, tons of mini games too, race dragons, strap on a rocket, and more co-op gameplay exclusive for the N64 version. So the back of the box I think looks really good. The front of the box, like I said, looks a little bit blurry, but not too bad. So now we're gonna open this up and check it out. All right, so we have the plastic off of the box. So let's go ahead and open it and see what you get inside. We have the cartridge, which we will compare to an original N64 cartridge and a instruction booklet. Ooh, full color, very nice. I do, I do like that. And you can see we have some of the story involved here and then some gameplay tips. Saving and loading, this is a memory card game, what you see on the game screen. Nice, nice instruction book. Um, you know, obviously instruction booklets are kind of a lost cause nowadays in modern gaming, but that's a good thing. And let's take a look at the cartridge itself and let's compare it to an original N64 cartridge. Uh, we have Ken Griffey Jr. baseball here. Uh, clearly it's the same size, um, you know, looks good. Flip it over, same type of screws. Uh, actually, they're different screws. This uses a screw bit, and this uses a different, a different style of screw, but you know, that's fine. They're metal screws, it looks like. Uh, pretty, pretty decent build quality, honestly. I'm not, I don't really buy many N64 repros just because, I don't know, there's not many games that I really want a repro of. Most of the good games, you know, they're somewhat affordable. So, you know, comparing it to an original N64 cartridge, it's pretty much spot on. It'll look exactly the same on your shelf. But now what really matters is what is this game all about? Like, is it even a good game? Is it something that you'll want to add to your N64 collection? I'm going to go ahead and hook up the N64 with the Retro Tink system so that way we can play it on the HDTV, capture some footage, and show you guys some footage of the game. All right, so this is 40 Winks on the N64. We are running it on actual hardware via a retro tink and composite cables. If you don't know what a retro tink is, I made a video on it. Basically, if you're a retro gamer, you need to buy one of these. It allows you to play pretty much any console on an HD television, but I did want to let you guys know this is via composite on actual hardware. Now, the first thing I noticed about 40 Winks has to be the audio in the game. Take a listen to this. It's pretty cool. But mom, bedtime's boring. Yeah, there's nothing to do but lie here getting bored. Oh, hush. What about dreaming? What about it? 
Dad says dreaming is a period of elevated brain activity occurring during certain sleep phases. Elevated brain activity is boring. You really didn't hear many voice samples used like this on the N64. Of course, because the system was a cartridge based system as opposed to a CD based system, a lot of things when it came to ports were cut back in terms of full motion video and audio samples, but 40 Winks doesn't seem to go by that notion. They included voice samples in this game and they sounded very nice, very clear, and very crisp. So I was initially very impressed with just the presentation of the game. You gotta keep in mind, this of course is an N64 game that was supposed to be released back in 1998. So it's over 20 years old. So if you're expecting modern stuff, you know, that's actually pretty silly. But 40 Winks was an interesting game because of course it was canceled. Why it was canceled was because the publisher, GT Interactive, was actually in a very bad position financially. So they released the game in Europe as rough and tumble on the original PlayStation, but it never saw the N64 release. And honestly, I think it's a shame. Now, I'm not gonna sit here and say it's as good of a 3D platformer as something like Super Mario 64 or Banjo-Kazooie, but it's definitely a solid 3D platformer for the N64. It's definitely one of the better ones that I've played. You know, the N64 had a lot of different 3D platformers. You were introduced to a whole slew of new characters, characters like Glover and Chameleon from Chameleon Twist. But I think this game actually has a lot going for it. There's a lot of deviances in the graphics. There's a lot of nice graphical effects as well. You can see that it is a collectathon. The Zs that you see up on the screen there, that's basically your life meter. You're collecting different Zs to keep your life meter up. The combat is pretty fun as well. Well, you have a three hit um, combo that you can do by pressing the B button, A button jumps, and you also have a Z attack as well. That's sort of like a sliding attack. You can use it for different things. You can also jump and use it as a butt jump like we will see up here very shortly. But there's a lot of stuff going on on the screen and the N64 seems to be handling it pretty well. I enjoy things like the weather effects that you're seeing right now. They're very they're very clean. They're very impressive. It's a, it's a very visually pleasing game and of course, N64 games, you know, a lot of them struggled with controls because of the controller. I actually used a Retro Fighters controller when playing this game, and I felt like it was very smooth. You can use a first person perspective to see around your areas. You can control the camera by using the C buttons, and it just feels very nice. It feels very smooth. It feels very fluid. It's actually, I'm, I'm surprised I'm saying this because I honestly felt like this game would probably be a bit of a letdown, and that's one of the reasons why it never came out. But but it's a pretty impressive game. Now, like I said, there is a two player mode in this game. Unfortunately, I do not have a second player to play with. I would be curious to see how that runs and how that works. You basically just play in tandem, I believe, when you're um, playing in the two player mode. You can see right now I'm trying to swim. This, this was kind of awkward. I was trying to figure out, you actually have to hold the button down. I was trying to tap it, you know, to make my character go here, but you just hold it down and then you can see I'm an idiot and I eventually get it working. But yeah, it's a fun, 3D collectathon. I really didn't plan on doing like a full review of this game because I didn't expect it to be any decent. You know, I expected it to be just sort of shovelware, but I'm actually pretty impressed with this game. I'm having fun with it. I'm definitely going to, you know, play it some more and maybe actually complete it. I just wanted to see how the game ran to give you guys some impressions of the game to see if it's an N64 game you'll want to add to your collection. I honestly feel like it is. If you enjoy 3D platformers, it seems like a really solid 3D platformer from the N64 era. Like I said, it's not as good as Super Mario 64. It's not as good as Banjo-Kazooie, but I would definitely put it in the upper tier of 3D platformers on the N64. And honestly, it's a shame that this game didn't release. I think it could have been somewhat successful as it has a nice aesthetic, it has smooth gameplay, and it has an interesting storyline. So let's go into my final thoughts about the whole presentation of the package, the game itself, and we'll see what I... <laughs> So honestly, 40 Winks surprised me. I didn't think it would end up being a good game that I would actually enjoy playing, but here we are, and I'm enjoying playing this game. I'm definitely gonna play it some more. I think it's really fun. I think there's some interesting concepts, and everything about the game just seems pretty polished, which you don't expect with canceled games that were from you know 20 plus years ago to be released on the N64, but 40 Winks is pretty cool. Um, I do like the packaging of it. Like I did say, I feel like this image on the front is a bit low resolution, but I like the color manual. I 
think the cartridge build is very good as well. It went right into my N64. It wasn't like it was too tight or anything. There was no problems with actually playing the game. The game does support both expansion pack, rumble pack, and memory card support. So all in all, a really fun game. If you like 3D platformers from the N64 era, you still play your N64. I think it's a game worth checking out. It's pretty impressive and I am looking forward to playing it some more. So I want to give a thank you to Pico Interactive for sending this into the channel to check out. And like I said, I'm honestly pretty surprised with just how good of a game it is. Like I said, in the upcoming days, we're going to take a look at some N64... Or like I said, in the upcoming days, we're going to take a look at some Genesis and Super Nintendo releases that also came out, but I just wanted to give 40 Winks the time to shine because it never got a chance to shine back in the day, and honestly, it's kind of a shame. So let me know what you think of this game in the comments section down below. I'll have a link to Pico Interactive's website if you're interested in checking out this game and picking up a copy for yourself, and as always, thank you guys for checking out this video. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications. Check out other videos on the channel. Like I said, check out that video on the Retro Tank if you're not familiar with it because it's an awesome device that I really love. And as always, I will catch you guys on the next video. Later.